Hi, I'm Dave Mars with Conservation Tips. With the holiday season upon us, you might find yourself scouting out this section of your local variety store a lot more than usual. And over the years, we've been attracted to uh, using these lights outside and inside. Uh, their low cost is also pretty attracting us. We tend to load up on these lights, maybe more than we need to. Many of us, though, don't get any lights at all because we're afraid about how much they're going to cost to operate. So today on Conservation Tips, we're going to take a couple of strands back to the shop, we're going to meter them, and show you how you can compute what your cost will be with your holiday lighting. So let's get a box of these, a box of these. Now with a newer strand of lights like this, it may also already tell you what wide the bulb uses. You can find that on the label. But since we have a convenient watt meter here, let's go ahead and take the easy way out. And you can see this strand of standard bulbs, you see these in Christmas trees and outdoor decorations, only uses about 40 watts for 100 little lights. Now another kind of strand of light you may find out there are these LED bulbs. And these use very little energy, in fact this entire strand of 100 lights only uses 9 watts, but you can see they don't offer a lot of illumination. Offering another kind of LED light, uh, which offers a lot of illumination, are these tube lights. You can see there's a lot of variety stores around town. And this had the uh, rating on the box around 67 watts, and that's what it's showing right here. We got about 100 bulbs on this strand, too. Now, in a larger bulb like this, you see these outside uh, used a lot, you know, because they're a little bit brighter bulb, a larger bulb, maybe more resistance to the weather. But being a larger bulb, guess what? they're going to run a little more wattage too. It's going to run about 178, 179 watts per strand. That's only 25 bulbs. And then of course you might have some specialty lights like this. Generally they don't use a lot of wattage. Ten little bulbs like this are using, let's see, about seven watts. So let's see how they compare. measured our wattages and I thought we'd make a chart like this so we could compare one bulb to another. And the way I wanted to do this is show that this is the total amount of watts that were used per strand, 100 lights per strand in this particular bulb here, that leaves you with 0.04 watts per bulb. And on down the line, you can see this bulb here uses a little more juice. Now when you think about the cost, you got to think in terms of watts. Now these watts compare to say a bulb in your home like a 60 watt bulb or a 75 watt bulb and you can see these are much, much, much less than anything like that. So how do you compute the cost of these bulbs? We've got a very simple formula to help you figure that out. Now in this example, we're going to use the outdoor lights as, uh, as our bulb, and that was registered at 179 watts per strand. And now we're going to, just for instance here, use a whole month of operation, meaning those lights run 24 hours a day for 30 days, that's 720 hours, and that would leave us with 128,880 watt hours. Now to convert that to kilowatt hours, we figure out our cost, we divide that by 1,000, and that lends us, it leads us to 128.9 kilowatt hours. Now that's for a strand of 25 lights running, of course, for an entire month. Now you probably wouldn't run these for an entire month, probably about eight hours a day, something like that, so it'd be maybe three dollars a month. That's just one strand, so you add up your strand, you can see how much these costs can add up. In comparison, when we extrapolate the cost of this one out per month, it only runs out to about 20 cents a month. So you can see that you can have quite a difference with the kind of lights that you use. Now, to ensure that you don't go over your lighting budget, you know, a really good device to use, of course, is a timer like this. And that way you can be sure the lights will be going on and going off on a regular basis and that you know, one night you don't leave them on and you know, incur that extra cost. Now, when you're moving inside or even outside, you want to be sure that your circuits are protected by, say, a, you know, a, a strip like this that has its own fuse on it, so if you get some problems, the fuse will blow and you want any you know, fire or any hazard like that. Now, on your indoor lights, if you used before, you know, check your plugs and make sure they're in good shape. Check those wires, make sure they haven't gotten afraid or the you know, animals haven't chewed on them or something unbeknownst to you and create a fire hazard. And uh, make sure you're you know, safe and secure in that. Don't over overload a circuit. You know, make sure it's not you know, going to draw too much current and cause other problems on the line in your home. So now if you use this formula and use these ideas today, you'll be able to figure out how much those lights are going to cost you, and you'll see that they're very economical. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, edition of uh, Conservation Tips, and we'll see you next time.